Hello everybody. In this video, I want to show you how to create um, a biorhythm chart in, uh, inside Excel. Uh, if you don't know what uh, uh, a biorhythm is, Google is your friend. Uh, inside a new workbook, uh, set up two worksheets. Call the first one biorhythm and the second one calculation. Uh, then uh, uh, remove the grid lines and uh, uh, give to uh, the whole uh, worksheet a nice background uh, color like this one. Uh, and then uh, set up uh, uh, an area inside the worksheet with uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, black border. Uh, then, in the calculations uh, workbook, uh, uh, take some, take a moment, uh, stop the video, and uh, replicate this uh, skeleton that uh, I have here inside uh, my worksheet, uh, and then uh, start the video again. Okay. Uh, in this image here, I have the, the formulas that uh, we are going to apply to calculate the biorhythm for the physical, emotional and intellectual. Uh, 23, 28 and 33 are the coefficients that, uh, that, we, that, we, that we are going to use. Uh, and uh, the other value that we need is the, uh, the birthday. Uh, okay, we can begin. First, we construct uh, a column uh, that has the progressive numbers. Because we want to examine the last 10 days and uh, the future 10 days uh, for the uh, for the uh, the biorhythm uh, then we need uh, we, we have to calculate the uh, the number of days that have passed since the birthday uh, that is the t inside our formulas um, and to do this we take advantage of the the new days function that comes with uh, Excel 2013. Uh, it, this new function has two arguments, the end date and the start date. Um, to obtain the end date, we use the today function, which is a very well-known function. Uh, I don't... Uh, uh, you don't need uh, uh, an explanation on, on how this function works. Um, and for the start date, we use the birthday. Uh, okay, now we have the number of days that have uh, passed since the birthday. And we have to project uh, these, these days, uh, 10 days earlier and 10 days into the future and we simply do this by selecting the cells uh, uh, up uh, of, the, uh, of, the, of, of uh, our cell then we go to home uh, in the editing uh, group we uh, click on this uh, arrow uh, here and press right uh, Excel simply copy the formula format uh, which is inside the first column and we repeat the same process for the cells that we project uh, uh, 10 days in the future. Now we need the labels for our chart and we use the Today, oops, the today function again, 
and we repeat the same process that we have seen before and then we give to the to the column the date format in this way now we can build we can construct our formulas we type sin open parenthesis two times pi times t which is the number that we have calculated in the t column so we point the formulas the formula inside the the t column and then we press the f4 key three times because when we copy the formulas over uh, the columns and then uh, down uh, the rows uh, we want that uh, uh, the reference uh, move uh, uh, in the, uh, along the rows but not uh, uh, along the columns so we close the first parameters and then we divide uh, this value for the coefficient up there and in this case we press the F4 key two times because we want that the reference uh, move uh, along the columns but not along the rows we close the parenthesis and we press enter then we copy the formula over and then we send it down with uh, double clicking on the angry rabbit uh, now we are almost uh, done uh, we need the one last element for our chart uh, and it is um, a vertical bar with uh, which uh, Uh, which uh, uh, that will uh, represent the actual day, the present day uh, in our chart. Okay, uh, now we can insert the, uh, the chart itself. We select the uh, first cell of the labels and then the last cell uh, in the calculations. And then we go to insert. We want to use the scatter chart which is very useful in this case now uh, to add uh, our additional additional element we right click inside the chart and then we uh, click on on uh, uh, select data uh, inside the select data box click on add uh, for the series name uh, be sure that the cursor is inside the space and then click on the cell that contains the label of the, this little table for the x values we use the first column and for the y values use the second column okay notice the uh, the vertical bar uh, which uh, uh, is uh, right on the day, the actual day, the present day. Uh, now to give the, the series uh, a meaningful name, we select uh, the series inside the select data source, click on edit, and then we select the label of uh, each column, and we repeat the process for the last two columns. okay now we need uh, we we have to do some little adjustment inside the, the chart we remove the title then uh, the the legend uh, we want to move the legend uh, in the on the top of the chart then we select uh, the vertical lines and the horizontal lines and we remove them by clicking on delete then to make some uh, uh, a customization inside the, the chart right click on the chart click on format chart area 
this is the new uh, format pane uh, that uh, comes with Excel 2013. Uh, the first thing that we want to change is the uh, horizontal axis. We go to number, we select first the last icon, then we, uh, we select number, and then in the type uh, we want to uh, select uh, a, a shorter format for the, uh, for the data. Then we select the vertical axis and we repeat the same process. In the last, we select the last icon, number, category. In this case, we want to show a percentage with zero, zero decimal places. zero decimal places and then we go to axis options and we make some little adjustment even inside here okay now we select the vertical bar which uh, represents the actual days day and then we click on the color uh, the fill and line uh, uh, format we give it to the line uh, a black color we make it a little bit thinner uh, then we select uh, the, uh, the lines uh, that, uh, that uh, shows the, the, the path of the physical, emotional and intellectual uh, and then we uh, change the shape to make them a little more evident okay our chart is almost complete now select the chart area and in the fill select gradient fill uh, present preset gradients I like this first light orange here then select the, uh, the outside part of the, the chart this way gradient fill and then we select this nice green light green here now the chart is complete uh, to move the chart uh, in the, to the biorhythm uh, worksheet, click on design, move chart, object, and we want to move it inside the biorhythm worksheet and click OK. Now the chart is inside our first worksheet. We can place it very carefully and resize it to make it a little bit bigger in this way now uh, to uh, the last thing that we have to do is to move uh, our input uh, cells inside uh, the first worksheet we change the color this way and then we repeat the process for the labels of the table we copy and transpose uh, we left align them then we give some nice color uh, now to show the actual value, we uh, type the equal sign, then we go to calculation. We select the value uh, of the first value of the central line, and then we press enter. We repeat the process for the second value, press enter, and then we repeat the process for the third value, press enter. 
select the cells that contains the value, give them a nice border, and these are we change the format in percentages with two decimal places. Click OK. And then to complete our work, uh, we give to this cell a nice conditional formatting. When the cells are greater, greater than zero, uh, our condition uh, is good. So we uh, fill the cell with this green uh, uh, green fill and dark green text. When the, uh, the value is less than zero, we want to fill the cell with this uh, red, uh, red fill and red text. Okay, now uh, our personal biorhythm chart is complete. This, of course, is not my uh, my uh, my birthday is the birthday of Stephen Hawking, and uh, every time you want to see uh, your uh, biorhythm chart, uh, just open this uh, workbook. And uh, because of the formulas that we have inserted are dynamic, it uh, will uh, ever uh, with uh, it will uh, update uh, every time you open the worksheet. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching this video, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.